I knew about triathlon a little bit. My wife started in doing some herself, but uh, out in, in Leamington, they had a, a Kids of Steel. So that, that really kind of got me going as I started organizing events at Maple Leaf in Tecumseh. That prepared me for, for what I, I still do today, and that's organize events for uh, under the banner of Fitness for Hospice, but it's, it's triathlons. I think, I think it all evolves out of something that happened in, in 79 or so. A new charity came by. They came up to me and approached me, uh, asked me, would you like to help raise funds for the hospice? We, have, we had a committee and we discussed it. And, and so from that day on, uh, we ran tournaments for the hospice. Still, still raise money for them. We still put on events, kids events, adults events. Participated in them myself at, at different places, and I still officiate today. And I got involved with officiating and triathlon back in '88 because my family was starting, and they asked for officials, and I officiated before. Same as I think being an official in any sport, you have to probably come from a background of of that sport. So I uh, participated in many many uh, triathlons myself, and I've tried to retire mm, three or four times. And obviously when you look around, uh, uh, I have a great committee helping me with many things, but it's something that I want to be involved with. And, and I go into the kids camp saying, well, this is probably the last year I'm going to do it, right? Because it's not an easy thing to do. And then when we wrap it up, uh, I even get a little teary-eyed because the kids are great. And that's where it all starts at. That's where you light the flame for, for, for children to continue on. Uh, and I think that's just a great uh, thing. Couldn't have done it without my family. They've been beside me, uh, behind me when I've gone out and, and obviously you're gone at times when the family isn't around you and they've understood that. But uh, I think that, yeah, you have to love doing this. It's not easy and I'm, I'm very proud. I'm proud of, uh, of uh, being awarded uh, in the build category. As I said, you never start out to really say, I'm going to be in the Hall of Fame as a builder 30 years ago. You're just out there doing what you enjoy doing. Windsor has great choices. It's a great sports town. I think I'm not, I'm not discovering something new here. I've been here for, since 1970. So I am very happy about and honored to be part of this community.